would like to introduce to you the Eagle Eye security system. I have been the software developer for the project. My team members. Leading our team, we have Sridhar Ramakrishnan, who has been taking care of all our communications. Next, we have Ms. Pauli Garth, who took care of all the hardware and procurement. Besides her, we have our technical writer, Mr. Azim Shakat, and we have Mr. Farid Mohammed Khan, who designed our circuitry and logic. For the past century, we have been relying on an extremely primitive way for monitoring our visitors. Yes, I'm talking about the fish eye lens located on our doors. Located at a standard height, the fish eye lens does not take into account our elderly people or our handicapped people who might not have the privilege of mobility. Neither does it take into account the people who are below the shore, the standard height, or children. We live in a society where the crime is on the rise. As per the FBI website, there were 133 robberies for every 100,000 population. With our population over 300 million, that count goes over 400,000. The rate of assaults, even higher. For this reason, we came up with the Eagle Eye Security System, a system that not only protects your loved ones, but also substantially reduces the possibility of solicitation. The Eagle Eye Security System replaces your blurry fish eye lens with a small camera transferring images onto an LCD. The operation is triggered by one of the sensors, motion or not, and the doorbell is also incorporated. Once the system is active, a two minute delay has been added until any of the sensors are detecting any signal. And once the signal is gone, it will also wait for two, two minutes before the thing is, is the, it turns off. And we came across, our idea behind this was to remove the big surveillance cameras and recurring charges from security system companies and use a miniature concept of with a one-time small investment. We came across many challenges during this semester, one being the malfunctioning of our circuitry due to timer and relay issues. With extensive troubleshooting and testing, we were able to identify and eliminate our errors. We currently have a prototype which is using all the three modes of activation and transferring raw data onto an NCD screen. In the upcoming semester, we will be implementing our design onto the TI-AM355X microcontroller and also including a two-way audio conferencing center, uh, system, which will be initialized as per the user discretion. Also, next semester, we will be creating an Android application which will allow the user to remotely access the system and monitor it using any Android device. I would like to thank you all for being here. At this time, we'll be glad to take any questions. Thank you. Three minutes, Sean. Thank you. Any questions? So do you have a working Yes, we have an analog design at this point, and we have also, uh, we have been working with TI closely, and we have uh, acquired the microcontroller that we've been working with, and it will be implemented in, into an entirely digital system for the coming semester. So once it's implemented, what's different with this than what you can commercially buy today? Uh, the one that will be, at next semester, will be implemented onto the AM55X. First of all, the system will be very uh, compatible, it will be smaller. Currently, we're using a complete screen. The AM55X comes with an inbuilt 4.3 inch screen, I think. Uh, the size is close to that. And also, it will have audio conferencing, it will have network ca networking capabilities, which will allow you know, anybody, if you're outside and somebody comes behind you and you're, if any of the children or elderly at your home, you can always talk to them with your phone that, hey, I can come back later or something. It will, it, it will be a great expansion of what we have right now. If you don't mind, I would like to expand on what you were asking. Um, from the current market, what there's available from ADT or any other security system is going to be a big surveillance like your webcam, which gets incorporated into the outside of your house, which looks obvious when a criminal comes to see that you have a security system, which is taking a look at it. In our system, if you come out to our uh, desk, we have a micro camera, which is as big as your fish eye gets, so it's very um, <coughs> invisible to the criminal when they come in. And the other system which will help from what is available in the market is the user would be able to see it on his Android machine, which is not currently available in the market. Invisible to a criminal is good or bad? It would be good for you and uh, for him because he would not be unaware or aware that you have a security system at your house. The camera is actually located on the door, right? That's right. Yeah. And how are you powering it? Um, 
we're going to be powering through an Ethernet port, which will be so, uh, providing it the power that it's necessary for it. So the wire is going across. That's right. Screen. Yeah. So from the LCD screen, which will be connecting to the camera, will be powered through an Ethernet port, which will transmit the data and power it to the system. So what's the form factor of this? It's uh, currently we're using the entire LCD screen, and the the, the prototype is about a cube, brick size cube. But uh, the AMD 5 x controller is about maybe five or six inches.